What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat bringing you another episode on the Modern Ninja Channel. Now guys, for those of you that have been around a while, you guys know that I used to do a series called Weapons Workshop where I do a bunch of different, you know, tech on, uh, not tech, but different gear that I've made on the show. So like throwing stars, disconnected bow staffs, uh, punch assist, stuff like that. Uh, if you scroll down far enough, you could probably find a couple of them. But uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me to make my bow staff, so I'm going to do that today. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to still call it Weapons Workshop. If you guys want to see more of these, let me know down below, because I could make a bunch of different things for you guys. But with all that said, let's jump into making the bow staff. I got to be honest with you guys. I'm a little sick, and so uh, I got I got to do it. Sue me. Anyway, the first thing you're gonna want to do is go to Lowe's and get yourself a dowel rod. This is a six foot dowel rod. It's about my height. Uh, if you wanted yours shorter, you could always cut it to whatever length you want to, but definitely choose what height you want it. To. Um, before you start into the process, before you go further into the process. I went to Lowe's and bought two because I'm going to make another double uh, set of bow staffs because like you saw in my live stream, if you just watched it a little bit ago, I broke my bow staffs. It was at this moment he knew. He f***ed up. I knew it wasn't gonna last forever, but here's the end of this staff. So this is basically me uh, fixing that and getting some more bow staffs. But again, get a dowel rod. You can have it whatever diameter you want, whatever feels comfortable in your hands. So you're gonna wanna suspend your staff somewhere. I chose this white bench because I'm gonna be painting it white and so I'm not worried about painting the bench more white. But I have some string right here tied to the top that holds the uh, the staff in place, suspended. That way I can get all of the sides as opposed to having to turn it over and try not to get it uh, uneven on, with the paint. What I have is just some basic uh, white paint because I'm gonna have white staffs. This color can be whatever color you want because it's honestly just up to you. Whatever color you want your staff to be. Now this is gonna be mandatory. You're gonna want to have plenty of clear coat um, I'm gonna end up probably using this whole can on both staffs just because I really want my staffs smooth, slick, and I don't want water or anything else to kind of mess with it. And that's why you add that clear coat on afterwards to kind of get that shine and make it for sure waterproof. Now let's paint. Let me see you better boop when the beat drops. <laughs> Once you get enough white coat on there that your or your whatever your main color is that you're happy with it and happy with how it turns out, then you're gonna want to do clear coat, probably about double the amount. So if you do five coats of your red or white or blue or whatever it is, then you're gonna want to do ten coats of your clear. Uh, obviously, I'm not using that many coats. I'm only using like three coats of white, um, so it shouldn't be too bad. It'll be three coats of white and six coats of clear. Alright, so now the staff is painted, it's done, I put the clear coat on it, I used a bit extra uh, than I thought I was going to just to make it nice and smooth. Um, the more clear coat you use, the smoother it'll be. Also, um, if you take a nice fine sand, sand piece of sandpaper, I can't talk. If you take a nice fine piece of sandpaper and use it on the staff, it will help you make it smoother for your hand and then the clear coat will even make it even more smooth. But it's up to you which, you know, how much work you want to put into it, how nice you want it to be. Uh, but next stop, we're going to be taking this duct tape right here and I'm going to make it uh, the grip just like I did with my old bow staff that I have right here. For reference, I'm going to basically line it up and just kind of have it at the exact same interval. So let's get into it. Let me see you better boop when the beat drops. 
Alrighty then, that's that's it. I now have my two staffs back. They're the exact same height. They're the exact same grip, you know, length. So if I put them together, they're exactly the same. Um, and that's what I wanted. That's the important part. That's the, the important factor in doing good double bow set. They have to be the same size. So now that I'm done, I get to go back and start practicing on my form because I haven't been able to practice on my form this whole time. So let's get back to practicing on this form. And I think I'm going to stream it. So uh, if you are watching this video, that stream probably already came out because I'm literally going to stream right now. So with all that said, my name is DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja and... I'm out.